In today's video, we're checking out this PRS SE Custom 24. This is a 2021 model and it's made in Indonesia. Now, if you're new to the channel, you might not know, I actually own a made in Korea one of these. So I'm gonna talk a little bit about the differences at the end of this video and whether or not this is still just as good. A massive thank you to Sky Music for the loan of this guitar. I don't get to keep this guitar, nor are they paying me to make this video. So all thoughts about this will be my very own. Let's get into it. Here's the guitar up close. Now there's a couple of things to really love about a PRS. The first thing is its playability. You can get all the way up to the end of the fretboard without any problems. So if you like to play up high on the fretboard, then this is one of the easiest guitars out there along with something like an SG. So I really dig that. We get 24 frets, thus the name Custom 24. We get two humbucker pickups. Now these are the 8515 pickups that can either be run in traditional humbucker mode all this tone control is a push-pull one, and you can essentially split the coils on each of the pickups. Now, I'm not the biggest fan of that, but I'll show you how it sounds, and it's not too bad on this particular instrument. So yeah, I'll give you a rundown of that in the video. We also get a three-way toggle switch as well, bridge, both pickups and neck, and then this is your volume control over here. One of the trademarks of a PRS are the bird inlays. I think this one looks really, really nice. Let us know what you think of that and we get the wide thin neck on the back. Now, I really love the feel of this, even though I'm coming from, you know, the mindset of preferring fatter necks generally, this one is one of my favorites. In terms of playability, I love this thing. When it comes to the tuners, these are the regular PRS tuners. Now, one of the things I highly recommend if you buy one of these, the first thing you should always do is just tighten the screws in the top, and this one is no exception. They're, they've got a little bit too much play in them, but it's easily fixed. Another advantage to a PRS in my experience is the tremolo bridge. This works really, really well. So if you're gonna be using the whammy bar that's included, it holds tuning really well when you compare it up against other brands. In terms of weight and balance, this feels really great in the hand. It's not neck heavy or anything like that, nor does it weigh a ton. So if you're a bit sick of playing a big chunk of mahogany or a table basically <laughs> for the three hour gig, this would make a really good option. It's kind of up there with like a regular to light strat. A massive thank you to Sky Music here in Melbourne, Australia for the loan of this guitar. If you'd like to find out about them, 
Links to Sky Music will be in the description below. I'll also leave some Toman and Sweetwater links down there if you want to check it out in your part of the world. Let's get into it. All right, let's kick it off today. I'm plugged into my Marshall DSL 40 cr amplifier on the clean channel to begin with, and then we'll try some crunch tones in just a moment. I'm going to cycle through each of the pickup combinations, starting on the neck pickup. Here we go. And now, with the tone control in the up position, doing that split coil thing. Now notice it's a lot cleaner, right? The volume actually drops quite a lot because you're only using, I guess, half of the humbucker as opposed to all of it. So it sounds a heck of a lot cleaner. It doesn't sound too bad. You know, I'm not a big fan of these kind of split coil things, but you could get away with that if you needed to. Over to both pickups to start with in split coil mode. Here we go. Yeah, all right. And now over to humbucker on both pickups. I actually like that kind of sound. I reckon it's pretty cool. And you can also get a really great kind of country tone out of this. All right, over to bridge in humbucker mode to begin with. Split coil. One of the great things about a PRS SE are the pickups when it comes to the higher gain tones. It handles it no problems at all. You can throw as much gain as you like at these pickups and it still retains that clarity on the top end. Let's give this a shot. This is a bridge pickup in humbucker mode. <laughs> Over to split on the bridge. It's a little overly bright when you split the coil, especially with the lead stuff. So I'm just going to turn the tone control down a hair here. Here we go. It's definitely usable, but yeah, again, you got to really want to use that. I'd rather kind of play a strat. That's just me. But anyway, it's there if you so choose to use it. And now over to both pickups in humbucker mode. Let's try this for a little blues. Split coil. Yeah. 
Yeah, even on both, I still prefer humbucker mode. It's just the way that I roll. And over to neck pickup. Let's try this. <laughs> Beautiful. Split. That actually sounds not too bad to my ear with a bit of drive. And lastly, over to the Ultra Gain channel on the amp. I'm also running a little bit of delay through the effects loop, thanks to the time delay from Crazy Tube Circuits. Here we go, some bridge pickup. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thanks for watching folks. My name's Shane. I'm going to wrap this video up by talking about my experience playing this guitar and then also how it compares to my Made in Korea. So I was a big fan of the Made in Korea one. I bought it as soon as I had a chance to play it. It was great. I then played I think last year's version of this which was the first run of Made in Indonesia. I think it was the year before something like that. I didn't like it whatsoever. The switches felt a little bit on the cheap side and it just didn't feel like a PRS. They heavily sort of painted the neck and all that kind of thing, and I didn't like it at all. But this one feels really good. I don't think there's any difference between this and mine. So if you're looking for a solid instrument, this would be right up there. Look, the switch doesn't feel the best, but it's definitely nowhere near as bad as the last guitar I played from them. So I think it's got that going for it. Now, when it comes to the split coil tones, I can kind of take them or leave them. I ended up ripping out that pot altogether and just putting in a normal one because the split coil tones aren't for me. But if this is your only guitar, you'll have that as an option. They sound pretty good, but these humbuckers have a lot more sort of cut in the mix than you probably realize when you compare it up against other brands out there. They're a lot chirpier and a lot brighter. So I really like this guitar and it comes in a rock and gig bag, arguably my favorite gig bag from any guitar at this price point. It's not even close. It kills all the Fender ones. The PRS gig bags are the way to go. Anyway, thanks again for watching. If you want to find out more about this, links to this will be in the description below. Thanks again. Catch you soon. See ya.